I simply filled up a sandwich bag full of water and a handful of pennies inside. I sealed it up and then I hung it outside. The light hits the bag full of shiny, pretty pennies. It refracts and confuses the flies and insects. Overwhelmed, they will fly away and find somewhere else to hang out. Split off a recycled bottom in one cup boiling water and one eighth cup sugar. Mix until the sugar dissolves. Flip the lid so it is like a funnel. Place it into the bottom part of the bottle. Tape the lid onto the base and set it inside or out where flies are bad. Mix one cup apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon lemon juice, and one quarter teaspoon castile soap. Cut the lid off a recycled bottle. Pour the mixture into the bottle. Flip the lid so it's like a funnel into the bottom part of the bottle. Tape the lid onto the base. Place hot mint and lavender in one cup of boiling water. Let it steep for five minutes. Drain out the herbs and place the water in a squirt bottle. One cup of vinegar or witch hazel. Give it a little shake and it's ready to use. Make a mixture of one eighth teaspoon castile soap and one cup water. Place in a spray bottle. To spray the ants directly, it will soften their shells and they will die. Ants leave behind pheromones and that is how they follow the pathway to the fruit source. Spray the point vent tree and the area around it and wipe it up. Spraying and wiping up the area will erase the pheromones. Make an ant bait trap. Mix together three teaspoons sugar and one teaspoon borax. Get a small container with a lid and poke holes in the side so the ants can crawl in. Place the bait inside and put at the location of entry. You can also use a small lid from a recycled bottle. Place the bait inside and set it near the nest. If you have pets or kids, you won't want them getting into the borax, so make the trap with a small container instead. Alternatively, you can also make a mixture of a half a cup of vinegar and a half a cup of water as well. Find the point of entry on the outside and the inside and spray with the mixture and wipe up. Put natural repellents around your yard, like lavender and basil. Another way to get rid of ants is to find their home, flood it with boiling water. You might need to do this a few days in a row to get rid of them. I hope this inspires you to try some DIY bug repellents and traps of your own. I'm busy getting my garden and apple tree ready. I get those pesky rabbits, squirrels, voles, aphids, and more during gardening season. I get voles in both my vegetable and flower gardens almost every year. To keep them out, I have learned to add mothballs to my gardens and it seems to keep them away. They don't like the smell. Make a red pepper spray. Add four cups of water to a squirt bottle one teaspoon dish soap, and one tablespoon of red hot or Tabasco sauce. Mix and spray on your plants. This is meant to keep the deer, squirrel, mice, and birds off your plants. Test the plant in a small place to make sure that the plant can handle it and wait for four days to see. Spray once a week, and if it rains, you'll need to reapply. Sprinkle red pepper flakes in your garden. It is known to deter rabbits, deer, skunks, raccoons, cats, and dogs. We have learned if you have a rabbit around, you will definitely want a fence to keep them out. We bought this fence at our local hardware store and used screws and fence clips to attach it to our fence. Don't forget to block the gate entryways as well. Put a row of rocks inside the gate so those pests cannot sneak underneath of it. Animals do not like movement or loud noises. I hung a large shepherd's hook in the center of my garden and added a wind chime. I put these simple pinwheels that I found at Dollar Tree in my garden to keep those pests out. The squirrels in my apple tree make me crazy. I wrap the base of the trunk in tinfoil. This deters them from climbing up the trunk and they don't like how it's reflective. Now one tip I have is that animals will get used to the items you put in your garden to keep them out. I recommend moving things around once in a while to change it up and throw them off. Plant some marigolds in your garden. Marigolds are amazing flowers that give off a terrible smell, deterring rabbits and deer. My grandma taught me to plant these in my garden. Keep nocturnal animals away by adding solar lights in your garden. Feed those pests somewhere else to keep them away from your garden. I placed water in the cup and bird seed on the plate and this keeps birds away from my garden. I hope this inspired you to try a few of these tips in your garden or fruit trees at home. So I've got my soap little grater here and all I'm gonna do is start by grating the soap. So we are gonna start right here with our windowsill. So all you're gonna do is sprinkle a little bit of your Irish soap right there in the windowsill. If it rains, it's going to basically clean your windowsill, but it would also keep the flies away. So when you're done, you just go ahead and close your window. Flies are often attracted to garbage and what's inside. So another thing you can do is take your Irish spring and just sprinkle a little bit in the bottom of your garbage can to keep flies away as you are filling your garbage. This is an area in our yard where we had some vole damage and we're in the process of mending the damage that was done. So what I'm gonna do is take some Irish spring and I'm gonna sprinkle it around this area. And the point of this is that rabbits and other animals don't like the smell of it. So they will avoid this area and it'll allow our grass to come up and heal in this space. 
The same thing goes if you have a flower garden. If you have some pests, like some squirrels and other animals are eating and picking at this, simply surround it with a bunch of Irish Spring and those pests will leave. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of Irish Spring and the amount really depends upon where you're at and how many bugs you have in your area. You're gonna place a funnel on top and pour some water in. Now, if you need something more potent, you can always add some vinegar. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of a shake. Now, over time, the soap's gonna dissolve. Now, this spray is good for a bug spray. It is also great to spray any leaves outside that maybe are being attacked by bugs. So, just staying away from the face, of course. Just simply squirt it on yourself all over and have somebody help squirt it on you. Well, this is just a mason jar and I'm gonna place a bar of soap inside and I'm gonna place the lid on top. Now, I have this old lantern from Ikea and I simply place the jar inside like that. Then next, when I'm coming to sit outside, I can either open either side, so I can open the small side or the big side. And this helps me when I'm sitting outside, enjoying the outdoors and then it scares the bugs away while I'm sitting out here. Another thing that I can do with this is I can take the shredded pieces and place them into the recycled jar. I can place the lid on top and I'll show you what I'll use that for. This is our apple tree and squirrels love to climb up this thing and I've always got something eating at this tree. So as I mentioned before, taking one of these lids and putting the shavings inside allow me to either use this side or this side for this useful project. So instead of having to grade it up every single time, I can have one mount and then I can just go around this apple tree or plant or whatever I need to. Next, we're gonna talk about doorways because a lot of times bugs are flying in and out of our doors. So how can we stop and prevent that from happening when people open and close our doors just naturally? Now, one of the easy things you can do is hide soap somewhere on your porch. So all I need to do is take my soap, lift up my turtle, place my turtle on top of the soap, and the smell can come out from underneath here and it radiates through the whole space, therefore keeping the flies and bugs away. I'm gonna teach you another little trick you can do with just the regular bar of soap. So this is our door's edge, and all I'm gonna take is the edge of the bar of soap, and I'm just gonna rub it onto the door frame. And I'm gonna go all the way up and all the way down. Just wanna also rub it on the outside of your door as well. So another place you can consider, consider it is around your table. So you're just gonna go around the table here, and it will keep kind of the flies away as you're eating. And I hope this inspires you to try some Irish spring hacks of your own. Thanks for watching Home Talk and I'll see you next time.